Hello, and I'm back again for another video. Two in a week, I think. No, my last one was last week. And I was talking about how our pussif my Pussifer cover, solo cover, is going to take a bit longer than expected. Um, I don't know where to sit to make it so that the sun isn't mostly masking my face. So anyways, today, two things. One, I'm going to do another poetry reading. This one is Left Alone Eternal. Um, another one of my uh, own poems that I made myself. Um, uh, it, I, was in a, I was in a dark place when I wrote a lot of these. Uh, most of the time I couldn't talk to anyone about how I was feeling. So instead of uh, having the ability to talk to somebody and getting the chance to get all that out by talking to somebody, I'd write poetry, poetry and uh, short stories uh, stuff like that. So, a lot of this stuff may seem depressing or dark or angry, and that's because when I wrote it, I was, you know, depressed, um, angry, and just, it was all the bad emotions that I wasn't allowed to, to show and to talk about. Uh, my dad's one of the old-fashioned manly man's man kind of man. There was a lot of men in one sentence, but... So... <laughs> but needless to say, we, around him I wasn't really supposed to show much emotion, and by that I mean, like, happiness was okay. But that was about it. And it wasn't like I couldn't... I couldn't show joy either, like, you know, that true, you know, oh my gosh, I am... like that, you know total happiness, joy kind of thing. I couldn't show that. It was too much emotion for him. And I couldn't show sadness, and I couldn't let my anger out. That was for reasons not because of him, but because of me. I had some pretty bad anger issues back then, so I couldn't show my anger. I couldn't let it out. It was, um, it was bad times. But anyway, so yeah, that's the explanation for why a lot of my stuff is darker and not as happy. Um, the second thing in this video is going to be a new riff on the guitar, this guitar right here, that I'm going to show you. Um, and I'll probably make a third, a uh, second video later today, once Spinning gets back home, uh, talk to you about some cool stuff then. Um, but I guess we'll start it off, and the guitar's right here, so we'll do the guitar, how about that? I'll show you the new riff I've been working on. It's very... Um, very much not done yet, so now uh, it's, it's it like it's very very simple. This is just the beginnings of what it's going to be, I think. Um, and I just figured it out about five minutes ago, so here we go. <laughs> So that's that. Hopefully something will come of that. I'm going to show it to Spinny and maybe he has something maybe he wants to add to it, or maybe he wants to work with it some as well. But uh, that's what I've got so far. That's what I did. Coffee. Um, I, don't know, I was sitting here messing around, just hitting random frets and plucking random strings and found a cool sound on the high E string and decided to drop it to the low E string and see what I could do with it there and that's what happened um... yeah, there's no like super intense aha moment, there was no um, big influence as to how that was made, a lot of songs are just a lot of stuff that um, me or Spinny and a lot of musicians will make is actually just them lazing about, you know, doing whatever, reading a book, playing video games, watching TV, and then they'll just be sitting there with the guitar in their hands or the bass or writing, I don't know, but 
either way, it'll just come and it'll be just, you know, this thing that you were, you weren't even doing anything, you weren't trying to do anything, it just kind of, you made it a little something that was kind of a cool sound and then you just kept building on that. That's how most songs are made. Uh, unless they're pop. A lot of pop songs are actually, like, calculated as to what notes are going where and which verses go where. There's a lot of mathematic calculations in pop songs, which is weird. Math shouldn't be in music at all. You should just kind of do it. I mean, that's my opinion. So, you know, if, if, if you disagree with me, then fine, you know. Um, but that's just my opinion. Um, so I guess now would be a brilliant time to move on to the poem. So without further ado, this is Left Alone Eternal. Sometimes you may feel alone while lying in your bed at night. Or maybe when your parents go out. But you don't know loneliness. No idea what it truly means to be lonely. When standing in a crowd, at the dinner table with friends, with family. Sitting with your friends, when you can honestly say that through those things, you feel like the only person on this planet. You feel invisible, like if you just stood up and left, no one would even notice. Then, you can say you are, you truly know loneliness. I know loneliness. I have stood up and left. I left a long time ago. No one has noticed. I have been forgotten disregarded. Or maybe I was never known in the first place. I am lost now. I don't know where I am. Whether I was forgotten or never known, where I am doesn't matter. All these things mean nothing and never will because I am alone and forever will be. That was Left Alone Eternal, um, one of my earlier creations. I've been working on some lately, uh, mostly short stories. Um, actually, I will link you to uh, an, another. Um, in a later video, I will link uh, another channel, which I will be doing um, bits and pieces from short stories I'm working on. I will actually do readings, and as I create it, I will do a reading of it. Um, most of the time, it'll probably just be a slideshow or possibly just a video of me sitting here um, reading it to you. Uh, at a later date, uh, my best friend, um, possibly girlfriend, maybe, I don't know, it's confusing, but anyways, um, Despite the relationship we have, she's getting into video game design, um, animation, and stuff like that. So I've asked her, once she has some practice and she's got the software she needs, if she wouldn't mind animating my videos for me. Uh, some cool stuff, you know, short stories and such things. Hopefully she's okay with that, and hopefully she can do that. Um, she may be able to do some, at the moment, she may be able to do some... Uh, uh, some uh, um, original artwork for the story as I read it. Um, I have the first couple of uh, first couple of chapters. Uh, it's not a short story. It's actually a novel comprised of multiple short stories. Like the chapters are their own story themselves that all link together. Um, because I'm 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 best with short stories. I can't I can't do the whole novel thing where you add suspense and stuff like that. No, I I need to get to the action right away. And I and I hope you guys enjoy the story that I'll be reading. Um, 
I kind of half started it on my Booksy account. It was called I Am the Son of the Reaper, and it scares the out of me. Um, I'll be redoing that first part now that I've got a bit more knowledge and a bit more experience, and I'll be starting from there, from the very beginning, and as I write it, as soon as I'm done the first chapter, as soon as it's complete and ready to go, I'll be uploading a video of me reading it, and I'll be reading it in parts, because I only have about ten minutes to make a video. So until then, um, I will link you to my Booksy account, both the regular Booksy and the Booksy Silk, which is my erotic short story. It's in three parts, and it's called Her Skin. I'm going to leave a link in the description, annotations here, here, and here. Um, Booksy, Booksy Silk. Got it? All right. That's everything. That's all the time I have. Um, have a great day, and I hope to see you guys soon. Talk to you later, everybody.